This is the third in a series of tutorials about creating a simple experiment with Pebble. So here we are in our tutorials directory. And we can look at the third uh, file, again, by selecting tutorial 3, open edit selected. And now I'm going to keep the same basic uh, pattern we have had previously. But now I want to say, well, let's create um, instructions to give. So a label give a one row instruction, but maybe I want to have a sort of a text box. And there's a built-in function that will um, create what's called a message box. It will create a box on the screen, and it'll put text into it. And then it'll put an OK button at the bottom that I can hit with a mouse, and it'll continue on. So it's a really easy way to have to put instructions on. So I want to build a test here that has people t tell as fast as they can whether a number is even or odd. And so these are the instructions I came up with. These are the instructions for the test. In this test, you must decide whether a number is, whether a number of, uh, whether a number is even or odd. Try to do this as quickly and accurately as possible. For example, this is odd, this is even, this is odd, this is even. Even though these are really long, you only have to pay attention to the very last uh, number to see if it's odd or even. When a number is odd, pr press the left shift key. When a number is even, press the right shift key. Ready? Okay, so that's th what the text is. And here I'm using a trick here to have some formatting. And so this whole piece of text is in quotes. These are the whole instructions. So if I add carriage returns within this function, it'll keep on looking until it finds the close quote. These have to be just straight quotes. They can't be little smart quotes. But um, this whole text is quotes. I don't have to manually put in line breaks. It will um, find those breaks and print those by um, in the message box. So let's look at what happens when I d run this. So welcome, press any key again. And you can see that all of the formatting here is pretty reasonable. All of this is one line, and so it wraps. It doesn't wrap exactly the same. You know, it wraps this as quickly and accurately as possible. It does a, a wrap there, probably um, this, there might have been a carriage return here that made it uh, wrap there, but it looks like it's the right place. So that's all I have to do to put my instructions in, and then I'm done. So again, this is sort of the first step in building a test, is I want to give instructions, and this is an easy way to do it. So that's the end of the third tutorial on building a simple experiment in Pebble.